Hello friends, I am going to discuss illustration 12 of the CMA final SFM capital budgeting. Please read the questions here. Illustration number 12. Look at it. Technonics Limited existing company is considering the new project for manufacturing of the pocket video games involving a capital expenditure rupees 600 lakh. Capital expenditure rupees 600 lakh. Working capital 150 lakh. And the cap capacity of the plant for the annual is 12 lakhs units. Capacity utilization during the six year working life and the project is expected to be agenda. So this is the for 12 lakh. This will come 4 lakh first. 4 lakh units. This is for 12 lakh. This is the 8 lakh units. This is for 12 lakh. This is a 10,000, 10 lakh 80,000 units. This is a production. This is a 12 lakh. This is a 12 lakh units. These are the production units. These are the units. Okay. As per capacities. The average price per unit of the product is rupees 200. That is the selling price per unit. Selling price per unit rupees 200 and the contribution 40 percent when contribution is 40 percent of rupees 200 that equal to rupees 80 contribution is 40 percent of rupees 80 this is okay now the fixed cost rupees 480 lakh per annum from the third year onwards for the first and second year is these 240 and 360 fixed cost respectively. The average rate of depreciation 33.33% on the capital assets. No other anticipated. The rate of income tax may be taken as 50%. 50% at the end of the third year additional investment rupees 100 lakh in the working capital. Additional investment 100 lakh in the working capital. You are required to indicate whether the proposal is viable giving the, your working notes. Is this a terminal is a 10% is the value investment fixed assets and the current asset is a hundred percent calculate may calculation may be round off the rupees in this signal. Here the recent amendment tax laws will regard be balancing charges may be ignored. With regard to balancing charges, may be ignored. This is it. okay. I am going to solve the questions here. Look at working note first. Working note first. Calculation of present value of cash outflow. Present value of cash outflow. Present value of cash outflow. Okay. In this case, cost of fixed assets. Fixed assets. This is rupees 600 lakh. Cost of fixed assets rupees 600 lakh. In add initial working capital. Initial working capital 150 lakh add additional working capital additional working capital 100 lakh present value annuity factor rate of interest this is a 15 percent is given in the question that is third year that is 100 lakh into 0 0.660 this is 66 lakh now 
प्रजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ कैश आउटफ्लो आउटफ्लो रुपीज एट हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन लाख दिस नौ वर्किंग नोट सेकेंड कैलकुलेशन ऑफ डेप्रिसिएशन वर्किंग नोट सेकेंड कैलकुलेशन ऑफ डेप्रिसिएशन ईयर वन ईयर टू ईयर थ्री ईयर फोर ईयर फाइव ईयर दैट इज सिक्स ईयर हेयर रिटर्न डाउन वैल्यू डेप्रिसिएशन डेप्रिसिएशन दिस इज वन ईयर रिटर्न ऑन वैल्यू इज जस्ट सिक्स थर्टी थ्री थ्री परसेंट ऑफ सिक्स हंड्रेड दिस इज टू हंड्रेड नौ रिटर्न डाउन वैल्यू हेयर सिक्स हंड्रेड माइनस टू हंड्रेड दिस इज द फोर हंड्रेड राइट फोर हंड्रेड थर्टी थ्री दिस परसेंट ऑफ फोर हंड्रेड वन थर्टी थ्री फोर हंड्रेड माइनस वन थर्टी थ्री टू सिक्सटी सेवन यू राइट है टू सिक्सटी सेवन थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री परसेंट ऑफ टू सिक्सटी सेवन टू सिक्सटी सेवन दैट इज एटी नाइन टू सिक्सटी सेवन माइनस एटी नाइन वन सेवेंटी एट दिस इज वन सेवेंटी एट थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री परसेंट ऑफ वन सेवेंटी एट दिस इज योर सेवेंटी नाइन वन सेवेंटी एट दैट इज फिफ्टी नाइन वन सेवेंटी एट माइनस फिफ्टी नाइन You have one one nine one one nine one one nine thirty three point three three percent of one one nine. This is forty. One one nine minus forty. That is seventy nine. Here you write seventy nine. This is a return on value of the same year at beginning. This is a return on value of the same year at end. Now, thirty-three point three three percent of seventy-nine. Seventy-nine. This is twenty-six. Seventy-nine minus twenty-six. This is a fifty-three. It means. Written down value at the end of sixth year. That is book value is seventy three. Now the sale value of the sixth year is saying here. Sixth year the terminal value of fixed assets ten percent. Ten percent. It is saying ten percent. You can calculate working note. Working note. Three. Calculation of tax effect in terminal year. Terminal year sale. Sale realized. Ten percent of fixed value. Ten percent of the fixed value is rupees six hundred lakh. Why ten percent of the fixed value? It is saying terminal year, terminal year value fixed asset taken with ten percent for the current assets. 
टेन परसेंट डेट इज रुपीज सिक्सटी लाख रिटर्न डाउन वैल्यू एट द एंड ऑफ द सिक्स इयर इज फिफ्टी थ्री लाख इन दिस केस शॉर्ट टर्म कैपिटल गेन शॉर्ट टर्म कैपिटल गेन इज रुपीज सेवन लाख शॉर्ट टर्म कैपिटल गेन इज रुपीज सेवन लाख टैक्स पेड फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ रुपीज सेवन लाख दैट इक्वल टू रुपीज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव लाख थ्री पॉइंट फाइव लाख नाउ वी कैन यूज वी कैन कैलकुलेट वी कैन कैलकुलेट वर्किंग नोट फोर capacity utilized capacity utilized in 1000 calculation of capacity in production in 1000 thousands year one two three four five production unit in lakhs okay this is 33.33% of 12 lakh that is 4 lakh 66.67% of 12 lakh that is 8 lakh 8 lakh Four to six, eight lakh. This is ninety percent of ninety percent of twelve lakh. Ten lakh eighty thousand. Four five six hundred percent of twelve lakh. That is twelve lakh. Twelve lakh. This is twelve lakh. Production in thousand. Thousands. This is four hundred thousand. Thousands. Eight hundred thousand one zero eight zero thousand. Twelve hundred thousands. Twelve hundred thousand, twelve hundred thousand. The question is why I am going to write here in thousands? Why I am going to write here in thousands? That please try to understand here. Why I am going to write in thousands? In the given question, selling price per unit rupee is two hundred. Suppose production unit is four lakh here, and it is written in four hundred thousands. The so four hundred into Two hundred four two ja eight one two three four five four. You can write here eighty thousand eighty. You can write here eight hundred eight hundred. In this case, what suppose four lakh is here. And it is written in lakhs, then it will come to more zero. Here this is a five zero. Here this is a five zero. Then in the place of this, we can write eight hundred lakh, eight hundred lakhs. I am trying to build this in lakhs because of all figures are in lakh terms. Okay, please.
नौ कैलकुलेशन ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग कैश इनफ्लो कैलकुलेशन ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग कैश इनफ्लो इन लैक्स ऑपरेटिंग कैश इनफ्लो इन लैक्स राइट ईयर फर्स्ट ईयर सेकेंड ईयर थर्ड ईयर फोर्थ ईयर फाइव ईयर दिस सिक्स ईयर नौ That is production units. Unit. This is a four lakhs. Four lakhs. Eight lakhs. Ten point eight zero lakhs. This is twelve lakhs. This is twelve lakhs and this is twelve lakhs. Now sales at the rate of two hundred. Here, this is eight hundred lakhs, sixteen hundred lakhs, Eight hundred lakhs, sixteen hundred lakhs, two one six lakh, two one six zero lakhs, two four zero lakhs, two four zero zero, two four zero zero lakhs. Contribution forty percent. Contribution forty percent. Three. Twenty six forty eight sixty four nine sixty nine sixty nine sixty fixed cost fixed cost first two years look at here two forty two forty three sixty and thereafter four eighty. Two forty, three sixty, three sixty, four eighty, four eighty, four eighty, four eighty, four eighty, four eighty, four eighty. Depreciation, less depreciation. Depreciation I have already calculated. Two hundred one thirty three eighty nine fifty nine forty twenty six. Now earning before tax. Earning before tax. This is minus one twenty. Minus one twenty. One forty-seven, one forty-seven, two ninety-five, two ninety-five, four twenty-one, four forty, five four fifty-four. Tax fifty percent. 
here there is a tax benefit 60 minus 74 minus 148 minus 210 minus 220 minus 227 only after tax this is minus 60 74 148 200 148 200 11 10 220 227 add depreciation depreciation 200 133 89 59 40 this is 26 cash inflow cash inflow 140 207 237 269, 260, 260, 253 percent below factor at the rate of 15%. 0 0.870, 0 0.756, 0 0.757. Zero point five seven two, zero point four nine seven, zero point four three two. Now present value cash inflow one twenty one point eight zero. 156.4 ninety 155.95 153.87 129.22 109.29 Total present value of cash inflow. Total present value of cash inflow. This is rupees eight twenty six point six two. Eight twenty six point six two. Total present value of cash inflow eight twenty six point six two. Okay. Now I am going to calculate. Terminal cash inflow. Calculation of present value of terminal cash inflow. Terminal in additional. This is a in addition. Terminal in addition. Cash inflow. Sale of fixed assets that is ten percent of six hundred lakh tax paid on short term capital gain. This we have already calculated here. This is a tax paid on short term capital gain three point five. minus 3.5 lakh realization of working capital realization of working capital 150 lakh in beginning 100 lakh in land terminal cash inflow cash inflow terminal cash 
inflow is 306 6.50 present value factor 15 percent sixth year 0.432 present value of terminal cash inflow rupees 132 lakh now calculation of net present value that equal to present value of cash inflow minus present value of cash outflow inflow present value of cash inflow operating cash inflow 826.62 lakh 826.62 lakh plus terminal cash inflow 132 lakh minus present value of cash outflow present value of cash outflow 816 lakh here 816 lakh 816 lakh that is 143 lakh approx since net present value is a positive hence project is accepted net present value positive hence project is accepted okay thank you class please like subscribe and share my videos